welcome back to Block TV. Well, we've had ICOs, STOs, IEOs, and more. But now, intrepid token developers are looking to ensure that more than a few letters stand between them and regulatory certainty. Scale Network, overseen by the Node Foundation, plans to launch on the Activate platform, set up by Consensus Codify, to assist tokens to launch with regulatory certainty. And Jack O'Holloran, CEO of Scale Labs, joins us now to discuss the latest project. Jack, thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right, so Jack, just to kick us off today, to get those audience members up to scratch, tell us a little bit about the Scale Network, what it is that you guys do, what your unique selling points are, and how you hope to change the world of dApps. Yeah, the Scale Network is a purpose-built network to help, uh, to help scale blockchain applications. So if you look at decentralized applications that run on the Ethereum network, right now they can do about 20 transactions per second, but uh, more importantly, it takes about 15 seconds to run a block. And on scale, you can run each block or smart contract call in less than a second and do it in a gasless manner. The other component is on public shared mainnets, there's, there are higher costs. And on Ethereum, you're looking at about 10 cents per transaction today. So scale lets you run your decentralized application without really any additional coding that's built uh, for an application built for Ethereum. Run it in scale, do it very fast, uh, make your Ethereum application run smooth, fast with great user experience for end users. So that's what Scale does. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys are the first project to launch on the, the Consensus Codify's new Activate platform, or you, you will be the first ones to launch uh, once that gets up and running. Tell us a little bit about what that platform sort of advantages are for you guys, why you chose to launch in this manner, and how you hope to see the rollout. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, there's, certain, there's a certain set of projects or protocols that are, that are very long-term focused, that are all about building you. If you get into the GitHubs and all of these, you'll see where the activities happen, where the growth's happening. Scale is definitely in that category. So we are looking for optimizing on network health over the long run. And so a, a critical component for proof of stake networks is to make sure you have tokens staked into the network that are providing security to the network. And so uh, one of the, the beautiful things about the proof of use model that Activate is launching is that in order to buy the token, uh, in a very easy, simple, clean manner, you can take that token, even if you're non-technical, stake it into the network through one of the validator operators that run the nodes or the computers that essentially run the blockchain and, uh, and work that token. And then you're actually not buying a, uh, something that's traded on exchanges that would be mm -hmm. typically classified as a security. It's really uh, a, an asset that is a utility. It's a piece of software that you're using for its purpose. And the Activate Network lets the scale network and the scale community get up and running in a healthy uh, manner that provides a, a utility to the network and security of the network and ultimately defines that gray area between security and utility token and, and makes that more clear. Mm -hmm. And as well, I mean, you know, your focus obviously is on helping to develop some of these uh, perhaps behind the scenes or at least uh, sort of back of house solutions to a lot of the issues that dApps have faced up until now. I mean, uh, there's been a bit of a, a, a lack of development in the DAP space due to a limitation in, in user experience, uh, difficulties that are faced, whether it is in the issue of scaling or in a number of different points. How do you envisage changing that space and sort of bringing in the ne next wave, if not of mass adoption, but the next wave of adopters uh, to come onto the DAP space? Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head with user experience. Scalability in blockchains is is more a user experience issue right now than a technical challenge. It's less about getting millions of transactions per second through the pipe. I mean, you look at Visa, there's <coughs> roughly 50 transactions per second happening. And there's massive global scalability because end users don't need to interact with the Visa payment rails. They just use uh, user credit cards or uh, you know, use applications. The thing about blockchains is we can integrate payment into motion, into technology, into code. and one of the issues then is then I, having identity, showing the blockchain who you are, connecting your money to that application. So there are people making strides with API-based wallets where they're able to easily connect the end user to a blockchain. And then scale plays a role by then being able to have a second layer where each application has its own backend. And when each application has its own backend, then they're not reliant on the success or failure of other applications or impacted by them in terms of cost and speed. And so what Scale is trying to do is really solve the user experience problem where we have sub-second block times where it's typical to using a Web2 application 
and you're not paying per transaction when you're in the scale chain. Um, user experience is critical. When all of our uh, you know, parents and non-crypto friends are able to use these applications, uh, and our parents who are not uh, crypto enthusiasts, you know, then we've won. They don't need to necessarily know they're using a decentralized application. They just need to be able to experience the benefits. And I mean, you touched uh, on it just now, that idea of the use behind the scenes and behind the rails. But as it stands right now, the, the DAP space still really has seen very sluggish growth, hasn't been able to develop into the mass market as it, uh, as it sort of has hoped to. Uh, do you think this is a matter of developing the ecosystem beyond? I mean, obviously scale, as you envisage it, could be a, a, a key part of that. But is more ecosystem uh, development needed before they can really be put out to mass market? And, and what's the sort of timeline that you see on that taking place? Yeah, another really good question. So I, I worked in mobile in 2005, and I feel like I'm seeing the same movie play over again. We're in Act One. Uh, in 2005, there were hardly any mobile applications. And maybe people would check ESPN, they'd check sports scores, and email was an obvious winner because of the functionality. You could just easily package a message, send it off, do most things locally on the device. But the issues with mobile were we had poor battery life, we had low network speeds, we had low compute power, we had low, low storage and memory in the devices. In three short years, that, that changed dramatically. In 2008 through 2012, we saw a knee of growth curve. And the issue was, is, is it wasn't that we had a lack of, of, of focus on building applications, on building user experience, it was just the technology wasn't there. And so we're in a similar place with blockchain and we've been watching this story unfold since 2017 when we had the crypto kitties uh, uh, jamming up the chain. And guess what? Here we are in 2020 and we are almost there. It's really amazing to see the progress. And I think people just watching tokens prices aren't seeing that growth. And what I'm seeing is amazing growth happening both on the application side, development side, but also the infrastructure side. And so this chicken and egg problem is finally coming together. And I think we're gonna see a growth curve just like we saw in mobile. Okay, an optimistic future there, but I, I want to ask as well and touch on, I mean, the technological space, obviously jumping ahead in leaps and bounds, we're working with Activate there sort of resolves some of the issues around the regulatory space, but do you have concerns there that uh, the regular spa regulatory space, particularly in the US, may risk holding back some elements of, of DAPs or DAP development, or do you think that the sort of uh, marriage can work hand in hand? Yeah, I think, I think the regulatory space in some areas makes it difficult to launch a token that's a utility token. And uh, I think there's definite improvements being made. You see uh, jurisdictions. So Liechtenstein, for example, is where the scale network uh, is, is hosted or, or supported by the Node Foundation. And uh, the Blockchain Act just passed. Uh, the scale network will be the first utility token to launch under the Blockchain Act in Liechtenstein. So that's an, an example of progressive measures be taking place in a country. But you look at the US, the US just has certain uh, rules and regulations. There's certain ways uh, you, can, you can understand those rules and make sure that you're not uh, making infractions against them for securities laws. But I think the debt market will not be uh, hampered by that. The protocol market is more impacted and the protocol market is figuring out a way through real true decentralization and true building and utility and proof of use methods, I think, to be able to launch in ways that are compliant, that get through the gray area between security and utility. All right. Well, Jack, it seems you've, you've really thought about so many different elements of this. Just uh, quickly uh, tell our viewers, what's the sort of rollout on scale? When are they going to be able to sort of see it uh, in action? Yeah, so we've been working very hard on this since the end of 2017. We've got 30 people on the team, uh, about 90% engineers. We're looking at a Q2 launch, excited to launch on Activate, Consensus Activate. Um, Scale.network is where you can get more information on the network, the, te the technology, the proof of use launch. So we're looking at a Q2 rollout and the team's working really hard, so we're excited. All right, well, it sounds like it'll be a fascinating time ahead. Jack O'Holloran there, CEO of Scale. I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us, break down a little bit about what you guys are doing and about the space in general. And for our viewers, stay with us at blocktv.com for all the latest in news and information. I'm Asha Westrop evans thanks for watching. Watch us on Amazon Fire TV and Roku.